Locations, Temerian Quarter. During the summit of mages and monarchs, the camp of the Temerian delegation led by John Atalis extended over an entire district of Lokmuin. Plenty of diplomats milled around the camp, but soldiers were present in far greater numbers. Characters. Gaspar. The expedition ended tragically for the Gaspar. He died in a trap set by the malicious Derena. And I suppose the same is true for Ferret. Adalbert. Adalbert was a member of the scientific expedition that had set out to explore the caverns beneath Loch Muin. The man stood out as, an unple as unpleasant even among sorcerers. One could say that Geralt disliked him from the start, and the feeling was very much mutual. Adalbert had had it coming since the start. As the explorers pen penetrated the underground corridors, he was ever haughty, offering caustic remarks and never really being useful. Once the expedition discovered Diana's laboratory, Adalbert sought to prevent Geralt from getting his part of the loot. Heated words turned into violent deeds and Geralt gladly killed the mage. Cynthia Geralt had not expected to run into Cynthia again, let alone in such an unusual place, but he did. The Elf Guardian was leading a scientific expedition that was to explore the caverns between, be between? beneath Loch Muin. Their objective was to reach the laboratory of the famous mage Darena. The corridors beneath Loch Muin became the sorceress's tombs. A quarrel over Darena's legacy exploded into a fight and Geralt killed Cynthia. Carduin Carduin of Lanexeter had once been a member of the Council of Sorcerers. During the Thanet Coup he had attempted to maintain both reason and neutrality. He certainly offered proof of the former when it turned out that those conspiring with Nilfgaard thought nothing of his impartiality. Teleporting back to Kubir was an extremely reasonable and life-saving so course of action. Their protests were for naught. Carduin and the other mages were arrested in connection with the accusations against the Lord of Sorceresses. Tris Marigold the testimony Schiller extracted from Triss was used to accuse the sorcerers. In this way, Miss Marigold contributed involuntarily to a witch hunt greater than any before it. In the end, the sorceress was freed by a witcher, yet it was not Geralt. Thanks to Lethe, she escaped unharmed, but I am sure she would be glad to forget the time she spent in Elf Guardian captivity. Thus were the lovers reunited among the ruins of Loch Muin after the long, part long parting, and the story of Triss Marigold's kidnapping ended. Schiller fits Astelen. The Nerf Guardian's emissary's speech caused more confusion at the Loch Muin summit than an attack by the Emperor's Imperial Brigade would have. If so, in chaos was the imp Empire's gold and Fitzasterland discharged his du duties exquisitely. Kingslayer. I listened to the rest of the tale with bated breath. Led to the summit by Nerf Guardian envoys, Letho publicly accused the sorcerers of commissioning the assassinations of the Northern Monarchs. The Kingslayer's intricate plan was revealed too late. Letho had been working for the Nilfgaardian Empire from the very beginning, his mission to seed chaos before the Black Ones embarked upon a new war. Taking advantage of the ambitions of the Lodge of Sorceresses, its contacts and financial means, not to mention the support of the oblivious Goyatel partisans, Letho had eliminated two of the Nordlings' most important monarchs, plundering their realms into chaos. On top of that, he had thrown suspicion on the sorcerers who were just regaining their standing. Thus, the force with wi thus was the force which had stopped Nilfgaard at Sodden dealt a truly shattering blow. Now Geralt had only to confront the Kingslayer himself so that the man could confirm or deny the witch's suspicions. Only Letho would know that only Letho knew the truth of the backroom intrigue which had left the north running with the blood of kings. Now I shall tell you about the final meeting and its conclusion. John Talis. As a patriot and soldier, he was the ideal apolitical candidate for the position of Interrex. These same traits, however, meant that he lacked the support of powerful nobles and thus could not speak with a united voice for the Maria as a whole. Sheila de Tanseville. The sudden failure of the megascope had tragic consequences for Sheila, whose life came to a grisly end. As they say, magical travel can be hazardous to your health. Consult the doctor or a folk healer first. Henselt. Henselt eagerly engaged in another partition. Cadwan and Redania divided their weakened neighbor, the chaos riddle to Maria. Saskia. Saskia was no longer her own mistress. He or she who could command the dragon stood to attain great power indeed. I was surprised when Saskia appeared. The dragoness quickly demonstrated herself to be a lethal tool controlled by someone else. Thanks to the magical dagger, the spell was lifted and Saskia regained her free will.